Okay, um, I'm redoing my vacuum leak testing smoker sort of contraption that a lot of people make using old paint cans and we found out that these vintage aluminium uh, pressure cookers they're only two liters this was five bucks come with a nice big o-ring seal are perfect so i'm going to build it into this um, where the emergency relief valve goes i'm just going to adapt a couple of old air fittings that I have so this valve actually fits through there perfectly I use an o-ring from the tap like the spindle o-ring and clamp it in like that and that's fine and then this part here where that sort of um, rotating a uh, bouncing valve thing sits is perfect for the hose from the air compressor and the regulator it's an old barbecue regulator but again I've I just drilled it out a left hand thread sort of thing with that adapter and uh, soldered silver soldered uh, compressor fitting in it So basically, it's oval, and that hole's oval, so you just kind of never get it the first time. There we go. It just sits in there, pivots on that, and gets clamped. And I've already tested this, and it holds pressure really, really well. And you just take that, slip it over. Tighten it up, and aside from the two terminals, you've got to connect, um, and the element. That's about it. And the element I just used um, the uh, the rope that you get for window sashes, window sash cord, and uh, it seems to work fine. Um, resistance wire. Just did a quick calculation and measured some out, and, and um, yeah, it worked really well on my uh, old paint can version of this. So. I'm just going to put that back in when it's all ready. Okay, I'm uh, drilled the holes for the terminals for the power. Um, luckily, this aluminium is really nice to drill into, and there's enough room for a bit of a thread. So I just tap it out to eight mil, which is the same size as these posts. And they kind of screw in quite nicely. And then on the inside, rubber grommet. When that clamps down, it seals it totally adequately. Bit of a washer. I'm not using the lock washers, it's not necessary because it's threaded. I'm just screwing the nut. And that's pretty much it. And there we have it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, it's baby oil in it. The terminals are screwed in. I'll get the hang of this, but it doesn't have to come off too often. That's it. and connect the terminal and you're ready to go and here we go ok 
connect the air line. Connect to the battery. And there comes the smoke. I don't know if you can see that. It's working pretty well. And here it is actually working. I've got a latex glove over the end of the uh, throttle body and it looks like it's coming out pretty much where the throttle body joins the manifold. So that's how useful this thing is.